In this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to freeze rows and columns. One of the uses for freezing rows, for example, say you have titles here and whenever you scroll down you see that the titles disappear. Um, so, for example, I have two columns here that have cost and if I don't remember which one was which, so I have to keep scrolling up to read what the title was and what the data is. So, in order to avoid that, I can just freeze this first run, row so it's always visible. In order to do that, I'm going to point my cursor up here to View, click on View, then come down to Freeze, click on Freeze, and we have a couple of the default options here at the moment. We don't have anything selected, but we could do, for example, one row, so that will freeze only the first row. If I do two rows, it's going to freeze the first two rows. So let's do one row for now. I click on it and you can see that there is this gray bar here that is showing me where uh, the freezing is happening. So now if I scroll down, the title is always there and I don't have to keep scrolling up to see um, scrolling up to see what, uh, what the title is. Okay, we can undo. Let's come back to view, freeze, and we can do the same thing for columns. So I can freeze one column. Uh, in this case, I don't have enough data, but if it was the case that I had a lot and I had to keep scrolling, so I could just freeze the first one and the first one is always there. All right, let's undo that action as well. And let me show you another way of freezing that is also handy. So you see that when we come to view and freeze, the default options are only one and two rows. But let's say I need to freeze more data. So for example, here when I have my, um, order date, I need to see everything that is up to uh, 2016 and then I need to scroll down, but I always need this 2016 orders visible. So I can just select the last row that has uh, data that I want to see. So in this case it's row 11, so I just clicked here in row 11 and then I come to view, freeze and up to current row, which is 11. So basically what this is going to do, I'm going to click on it and you see now I have this gray, um, this kind of gray bar here. So you know that everything up to row 11, uh, row 11 is frozen. So now if I scroll down, you can see that it's moving, but everything up to 11 is frozen. You can do exactly the same thing for columns as well. 